Hey there everybody, how you doing today? It's me, Joe. I'm going to uh, do a little cooking here today. So I thought I'd uh, make a little video of it and show you exactly how I do this. So today I'm going to do one of my favorite meals. I'm going to do uh, a little uh, chicken wing recipe here. And uh, bake some chicken wings tonight. And uh, along with the chicken wings, I think I'm going to broil a uh, potato and some uh, fresh carrots. And uh, that should be my dinner for this evening. Today is January 2nd, 2013. So uh, this is my second dinner today, this, this year. And uh, hopefully it'll turn out good. So uh, I'll uh, do up the video here. I'll show you how I make the uh, mixture. I make a mixture out of uh, ketchup and uh, mustard and some brown sugar and uh, maybe a little bit of uh, garlic powder in there as well and mix that all up and then I coat the chicken wings in that and I bake them in my countertop oven and uh, uh, they're, they're just dynamite they just it's just the greatest way in the world to eat chicken wings for me anyway sometimes I like to do them in my deep fryer and just deep fry them for 15 or 16 minutes and have french fried potatoes with them but today I'm not going to do it like that I prefer to have them done in the in the coating mixture with the uh, the uh, ketchup and uh, mustard and brown sugar so I'll mix all of that up over here on the counter I'll uh, reposition the camera in a second here and I'll uh, show you what I'm going to do here and uh, I'll get that all going here it's uh, about 20 to 5 in the afternoon here now so it's a perfect time to get started with supper once I get these things in the uh, in the oven, it'll take probably 40-45 uh, minutes for them to cook. A little longer, I should probably... Uh, I'll do the uh, coating mixture first and then I'll peel my uh, carrots and my potatoes and get them in the oven and get them cooking before the chicken gets in there because they take a little longer to uh, to cook. But anyway, I, uh, I'll, I'll see how this turns out. If it's uh, if it's a decent kind of a video, if you can see me there, if my head's not cut off, I'm bending down here, standing in front of my fridge, trying to get the, trying to get everything right there, you know. Because you can only do this once, right? Otherwise, it's all wrong, and you got to wait till the next time, right? So anyway, I'll do it up. I'll uh, get all everything set up, and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing as I go along and do it. Okay, so let's go over here, over there, and uh, get started, shall we? Oh, it is recording. Okay, so let's just see. Let's see what I'm cooking here. Okay, so we'll get started here and uh, see what we can put together for these chicken wings. I'll get out my little stir whisk here, thing of the jig. I've got the chicken over there rinsing off in the sink, and then uh, I'll get this made up first. So here we got um, good old tomato ketchup, as you can see right there. So I don't measure anything out, I just kind of put in as much as I think I'm going to need in here. So I just pour some of this in here, in this bowl. Okay, that's good. That's enough of that. That's probably half a cup. And uh, take some good old yellow mustard here, and we're going to put some of that in here. Not too much, because you don't want to overpower it. There, that's a couple of tablespoons, maybe. And uh, that's good. Ooh, 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 mustard. I'll get out some brown sugar here. If you don't, if you don't have brown sugar, you can use, uh, sometimes I've even used a little bit of um, regular pancake syrup. But I like to use the brown sugar, so we'll just put, uh, there's a nice heaping tablespoonful there. And we'll put a couple of those in, just like that. That's enough there. I'm going to take a little piece here. I love this. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. It's like eating candy, you know. I love it. 
probably not good for you, but so what? Mm, look, at, look at that nice hunk of brown sugar. Mm. 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 Put that over there. Now for a little herb. Um, I put a little rosemary in there, not too much. Just a little dab like that. This is ground rosemary. I ground it up in my uh, grinder. Put that in there. And then of course we want to put in some uh, garlic powder. This is garlic powder, not garlic salt. Yeah, let's put it in there like that. I don't know how much that is. But you can see. It makes it nice and yellow. Ooh, that's pretty pungent. Now, we take our little whisk here. <clears throat> we'll put this back over here. And we get this all mixed up. And this, folks, is the chicken wing coating. I'll show you this in a second here in the bowl. This is what you coat your wings with. Okay? This is just, this is awesome. This is awesome. This is just a fantastic chicken wing coating. Man, if I worked in a restaurant, people would die for this. So we're mixing this up. Mmm, <clears throat> that brown sugar was tasty. Ooh. I hope this is going to turn out. You can't see me, but who cares? You don't want to see me. You want to see what this looks like after. You can hear me though, can't you? Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so I've whisked this up, and this is wick, wick stuff, wick stuff, whisk stuff. Oh, easy for me to say. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that there, but there it is. There's some nice red stuff in there. Oh, oh, oh. So that's that's all there is to making uh, chicken coating. I'll put the ketchup and the mustard bag in the fridge, and. Uh, I'll uh, get the chicken over here, and uh, the chicken's nice and just chicken pieces. I have five or six chicken pieces here for myself for my dinner. Uh, here's the chicken. Uh, it's just for me for my supper, so I don't know if you can see that there, but there it is. Chicken wings, baby, chicken wings. Now I have a special dish that I do this in. This is uh, my dish here. I'm going to uh, coat this with some uh, <coughs> uh, spray oil here. Here's my spray oil. I'll use this, my vegetable spray. I'll take it over to the sink and do it over here. Sprayed that dish. There. Clean that off my fingers. <coughs> okay, so that's that. I'll get my tongs out here. And, uh, oh, that's going to be so good. Okay, so we'll take that over here, put that in the sink. Then we're going to coat up these uh, wings here. There's one wing. Look at that. That's one of the, uh, the drumettes, you know. I love those because there's so much, so much, uh, meat on those things. So much chicken meat. Okay, so, whoops, I'm back here you. Hey, we give these a good coating here. I'll put another one or two in there and get them coated up nicely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then we just take these. Once we coat them up, we put them in the ceramic dish here. There's another one. And that's the, the flat piece there, and the other part of the chicken wing. 
And we take the rest of them, we put them in the coating mix. Okay, so I've got uh, today, I'm just, there's only five pieces that I took out of the freezer. <coughs> when I bought the chicken wings, I just uh, portioned them all out for individual suppers. I think I made about seven bags of five pieces or something like that. And for me, for one person, five or six pieces of chicken wings is just fine. Okay, and there's another drum, drumette, I guess they call it. I, Anyway, the big, the big thing that looks like a chicken leg, like a baby chicken leg. And there's the other flat piece. So we've got three of the drumettes and two of the flat parts. And that's it. I've got lots of coating in here because I'm going to turn these over later. And there's in the dish right there. Uh, and then they will go, I'll just leave them sit here on the counter for a minute, for a few minutes. I've got to uh, get my vegetables out, my my potato and uh, my carrots, and um, peel them because I'm just going to roast them in the, in the oven along with the chicken, and uh, the whole dinner gets cooked all at once. So I just have to decide how much time to give to each part of it, and. Uh, <coughs> And then we get it all done at once. I'll be back in a minute here. I'm just going to peel the potatoes. I'll show you what it, it all amounts to in a minute here. So let me just peel the potatoes. Okay, so I've just uh, peeled my carrots and peeled my potatoes. Now, to bring them over to the cutting board here, and uh, I'll cut them up and get them ready to go into the oven. See, there we are. Just two nice-sized carrots, medium-sized carrots, and two small potatoes. These are uh, red skin potatoes. Well, they were red skin potatoes. They're not red anymore because I, pe I, I peeled them. <laughs> now they're just kind of white. So anyway, I'm going to cut these up here and uh, get them ready because then they're just going to broil. I'll, here's my trusty knife. I'll cut off the ends of these carrots, the root end, or the leaf end, whatever end, uh, you know, anyway. Oops. Cut those puppies off, throw these in the garbage can right here next to me. And uh, I don't need to chop those ends off. Okay. And then what we do here is we just... Uh, cut these down into the bite size... Uh, Light size pieces, or whatever. Well, let's see if I can split these in half here. I like to split them in half without killing myself. Well, that's not quite in half, but that's good anyway. Yeah, baby. I say, yeah, baby. This is going to be good. Shut up. Did I cut myself? You don't want to do a cooking show and cut yourself. That's not the way we do things. If I slip and fall over, it's probably because I've got potato peelings or something, or carrot peelings on the floor. Man, that hurts. Uh-oh, we're going to hell in a handbag here. Okay, I'm almost done anyway with these silly carrots. Really, you got to be careful when you're using a butcher knife like this thing. This thing is, I always keep it sharp, so... Um, another reason I split these like this is because then they cook a little bit quicker, too. And, uh... Gives me a few more bite-sized pieces to eat. So I think that's, uh... That's all of them there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this thing again. And, um... Uh, I'll spray the, it's another ceramic dish that I've got here that's big enough for the uh, carrots and the potatoes. 
I like to use this vegetable cooking spray rather than oil sometimes. Okay, now we just put all of these carrots in there, like that. You see, they're all in there. Can you see? I don't know if I'm holding this in the right spot. There they are anyway. They're there and there. Now we've cut up the potatoes. The potatoes are a little easier to cut up than the, than the carrots are. Okay, we got that one there. And we got this one here. I'm only going to cut them into quarters because that will give me like eight pieces of potato for my dinner. And we're going to just put those in here like this, like that, over top of the carrots. Now what I can do with these, to give them a little bit more uh, crispy flavor, I'm going to spray these. I think that'll help turn them brown too, a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. I'll just spray them up a little bit. I'll do it right there. I'm going to have to wipe off here. There, they're coated up there. Now, this here is my dinner. Got the chicken wings there, got the uh, veggies right there. I'll get now I gotta move all this stuff off the counter because now I gotta put on the, uh, the countertop oven up here. I'll show you that in a second. Let's put the uh, vegetable cooking spray back in the cupboard up there. Move the uh, sauce over there and the tongs here. Now my oven is right here next to me. And ooh, ooh, I gotta wipe that up because I'm good oil all over the countertop. I don't usually spray on the countertop like that, but that's okay. Gee. Yeah. You're doing a cooking show here, buddy. <laughs> up my dishcloth and get that counter a little bit more wiping off. I don't know if you call this a tropical dinner or not, but I got what they call Latino tropical music playing in the background here. I don't know if you can hear it over top of my, my booming voice. Okay, there. That's cleaned up again now. This is my countertop oven here, and I've mentioned in other videos I don't use my conventional oven anymore. I haven't used one very much for the past three years or so since I bought this thing. And uh, to put that down there, like that. And inside this thing here, we've got these two. Uh, two grills. This one here in my left hand goes in the bottom and this one sits up over top of it. So what, what I'm going to do is uh, put the potatoes and the carrots down in the bottom one like that. You just You don't have to cover the potatoes or anything. And then I'll put the, the top one back in there. Now the chicken wings sit right there on top like that. That's it. That's how I'm going to cook it. Now, put the top back on. And I'll plug it in over here, like this. There, she's plugged in. Now this thing on the top here is what creates the heat. This is the motor. It, uh, once I turn it on, it creates uh, convection heating inside. And I think there's an element right underneath. On the bottom there, you see there's an element in there. If I'm not mistaken, a heating element. And then it blows hot air inside here too, and that's how the food cooks. With hot air. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put this in here for about 20 minutes. So i got to turn the timer on here. That says 20. I've got it set up as high as it'll go at 250 Celsius. Press the handle down, and voila! Supper is now starting to cook. 
So in 20 minutes, when this, when I hear the bell ding, I'll come back and um, I'll turn the chicken wings over and I'll recoat them on the other side, put them in for about another 20 minutes. I'm going to get a tea now. And uh, so it takes about 40, 45 minutes all together. Hopefully the veggies will be cooked by that time too. Sometimes i got to be careful I don't overcook things, but... Sometimes it's just a hit and miss proposition, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? <laughs> okay, so uh, that's, uh, that's all we got for the time being. That's how you use the countertop oven to cook with. I've cooked all kinds of things in this. Um, there's my trusty tongs. You gotta have a good pair of tongs when you're cooking, that's for sure. Um, so I'll let that go, and uh, I'll come back in 20 minutes, check on it, and uh, we'll uh, see how it all goes. It's uh, 20 after, 22 after 5 now. I should be eating by about 5 after, 10 after 6. Perfect timing. Now, um, okay, so I've got the veggies, I've got the chicken wings cooking. The only other food I'm going to eat with this meal, probably some sliced tomato and maybe some green olives. And that'll be my supper tonight. That'll be just fine. Pretty simple, easy, easy to make dinner, that's for sure. Okay, see ya.